Hello guys, this is WeHP and today we are going to look at how you can make some simple and easy split screen effects in Adobe Premiere. We are going to start off by doing the uh, split screen that I think is the easiest to make. But doing that we are going to drag uh, two of the videos uh, into the uh, sequence and then we are going to stack them on top of each other. After that we are going to go into effects. And once we're in effects, we're going to go into the top left corner, click on motion. And we're going to scale them both down to 50%. As you can see right there, 50%. And then we're going to do the same thing once again with the other clip, 50%. Oh, that's not really 50%. There you go, 50%. Then we are going to right click on the video and we are going to toggle safe margins. This will allow us to see the middle and give us quite a good like overview of uh, uh, how to position the clip and it just helps when you're trying to position them. And here you can play around with it yourself to make sure they fit and uh, it's all up to you where you, where you want to position them. What I like about this version is that you can, uh, for example, uh, you know, if you're comparing something or if you have a video, different videos, and you want to have information, you can write that into the uh, black areas of the uh, clip. Now, if you, for example, want to fill out the black spots, or if you have uh, four clips that you want to show, then you can do pretty much the same thing. Uh, all you have to do is you have to just stack four clips on top of each other, scale them all down to 50%, as we're going to do here. Uh, motion. 50% and uh, then we just have to play around with them, try to position them the, the way you want to. It can get quite difficult uh, to position them. Uh, you just have to play around with it and uh, see uh, to make sure they fit, you know, as good as you can. It's difficult, but it works. As you can see, this is a great way. Uh, if you have four different clips, no, they're not different clips, but if you have it and you want to show them all four at the same time, this is probably the easiest way of doing it. Now we're going to take a look at the second way of making a split screen effect. We're going to start off the same way, stacking them on top of each other, go into effects. Now when we're in the effects, we're going to do something a bit different. We're going to go into the bottom left corner and we're going to look at video effects and we're going to find the crop. Uh, effect and we're going to drag the crop effect into both clips then we're going to go back to the top left corner and we're going to go into cropping and we're going to crop both of the clips by 50% on the right side or left side depends on what you want to show this time I choose to go with the uh, right side then we're going to drag it just like that and we have a simple uh, split screen effect uh, what I like the most about this one compared to the previous one is that uh, if you have a more detailed clips or want to compare more detailed clips then uh, this is obviously the better one because the other one is more downscaled so you won't go get that much you know detail in the picture so this one is definitely better the downside is you have to crop half the picture so you won't get the uh, the full frame in it basically. Okay, now we're going to take a look at the third and final uh, split screen effect. And as you can see, I prepared two clips for this already. And what we're going to do is that we're going to make me look a bit less lonely. All right. <laughs> I know it might be an impossible task, but with the, uh, you know, with editing, we may actually, you know, get me to look a bit less lonely. We're going to add a cropping effect to one of the clips. Doesn't matter which one. And then we're going to stack them on top of each other. Uh, just like when we have the other split screen. Uh, and uh, then we are going to go uh, to the um, crop, cropping on the uh, top left corner. And then we're just going to, you know, play around with their bit. Oh, there you go. I'm a bit less lonely on this one. Well, still silly, but less lonely, definitely. And uh, as you can see, I think it's a pretty neat and fun effect. It's really easy to make. Uh, just film in one position and uh, don't move the camera and just walk around a bit. And uh, then you can just do this. And I think it's a pretty neat way. Um, neat split screen effect. Uh, I like it at least. And as you can see, just play around with it. Try and make it 
fit as good as possible. Anyway, that's all I had to show you this time. And make sure to like the video if it helped you. And make sure to comment if you want more tips uh, in Adobe. I thought I'd share the, you know, split screen effect. See what you guys think about it. And uh, maybe it'll help you. Maybe you want more. If you want more, make sure to comment. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you next time.